take it as simple uh, words you know, for entry of uh, people and entry of cargo there are two places you have the port and you have the airports so both places there is the entrance for people and the entrance for cargo and these two points this is where things have to be eased and remove all the red tapes and make it much more easier for movement of people and cargo. So if you look at Dubai, especially, in, uh, I'm not talking about the UAE in general, but specifically in the city of Dubai, where they had a vision for moving all these things and making it an open uh, skies and open movement for cargo. So Dubai airport, when it was built in the late 60s, the vision of the ruler there was to have three skies. So anyone can come to Dubai, anyone can leave from Dubai. And from a mere number of small number of people who to Dubai today, it's one of the largest, or the largest actually, the largest international airport in the world. Similarly with the Jebel Ali Free Zone, or the Jebel Ali Port, uh, the vision of the ruler was also the same that in the 1980s when the port was built. They wanted to make it easy for the movement of cargo made it easy for the traders to come and invest uh, in that area. And that is why today we see the Jebel Ali Free Zone as one of the largest in the world. You see, it's a win-win situation for both and things have to be transparent and clear. Whether it's a client in government, whether it's a client in the private sector, things have to be, be, be clear for everyone. And once transparency is there and the trust is there, I think there are the skies that went to. Well, Sheriff Group, we started in 1975, and uh, our main business was the shipping and logistics sector. And uh, later, in the end of the, well, in the middle of the 1990s, we expanded internationally. So, what made us go internationally is we took the same concept of uh, the way that we do business in Dubai and try to implement that uh, internationally. So we started into the Indian subcontinent and then uh, we went to, uh, later in the late 1990s we went into Africa. Most of the places that we are present today is in the uh, developing countries. Although that there are challenges that we face in many of these countries, but with the experiences that we have uh, learned from many countries that we are in, we are able to provide uh, you know, first-class uh, solutions in the logistics and uh, shipping uh, industry. Challenges will be there everywhere. I mean, whatever part of the world you are there, there will be challenges. And this is just the way that we maneuver through these challenges and try to reach the aim that we're looking for. Well, it's an excellent, uh, I can say this is a very excellent forum that has happened today. And from here, what I can say is... Uh, not just for the economic uh, times, but for the Indian nation uh, as a whole. This is the initiative which is taken by the uh, Prime Minister, Radhra Modi, uh, make in India. Things are going to be done, and make in India will happen.